here's a couple examples on solving exponential equations. Again, notice that the variable is up here in the exponent. So we need to somehow get this down out of the exponent. And the way to do that are, are with logarithms. But first, we have to get rid of the 6. So I get rid of the 6 by subtracting it from both sides. So my new expression is going to be e to the 2 minus 3x equals 40. Now I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. And the reason I'm taking the natural log is because, you'll see in a second, but I'm taking the natural log because now that allows me to not only to bring down the exponent, so I get 2 minus 3x times the natural log of e equals the natural log of 40. And the natural log of e, if you remember, log base b of b equals 1, and that's what natural log is, it's the log base e. So the log base e of e just equals 1, so that goes away. And I just get 2 minus 3x equals the natural log of 40. Now the natural log of 40 is just a number. And again, that's e to what power equals 40? E is about 2.7 something. So that's just the that that's just raising a number, the number e, 2.7 dot dot dot, to what the power gives you 40. And so you can sort of, you don't even actually need to do anything with that yet, because you're just going to punch that right into your calculator when you're done. But first we're going to get rid of the two. So we're going to subtract two from both sides. Then we're going to divide by negative three. And there's your answer right there. Now, if they want you to write it exact, then that's your exact answer. If they want you to write it in the decimal approximation to, let's say, two decimal places, then punch that carefully into your calculator, making sure you close the parentheses off after the 40, and making sure that you divide the entire thing by negative 3. And your answer is going to be negative 0.56 if I was rounding it, rounding it to two decimal places. <clears throat> Let's try another example. So now again, I'm going to try to isolate the x here. This is a different problem because I'm, I've got a natural, this is a natural log problem. And so it's a little bit of a different way that I solve this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get that x, that natural log of x by itself. So I'm going to subtract 3 and I get 48. Now I'm going to divide by 8. So the natural log of x equals 48 over 8. You can reduce that if you want to. And now I'm going to, which you should reduce that because 48 divided by 8, of course, just equals 6. So you could write 6 for that right there. And now to get rid of the natural log, there's a couple ways you could do it. You could either use the equivalence to convert this. Here's really what you have, log base e of x equals 6. You could convert that using the equivalence into an exponential, so that would be e to the 6 equals x. Or what some people like to do, and this is the same thing, is to exponentiate both sides to the base e, and there's one of those rules that says that uh, b to the log base b of x just equals x, which is what I have right here. e to the log base e of x just equals x and now I have e to the 6. It's essentially the same thing as using the equivalence or the definition of log that you learned back at the beginning of this section. So there's your answer. Log uh, e to the 6th, and again, if they want you to write it in decimal form, you would just use your calculator to punch in e to the 6th. e is the button, uh, the second bunk button above the natural log button, the ln button. And when you do that, you're going to get approximately 403.43 as your answer rounded to two decimal places. That's how you do those problems. Good luck.